Hello everyone, I'm Howard. And I'm Detective Quincy Briscoe. And you're watching... Batcast! All right, first and foremost... How are you, Detective? Oh, I'm all right. You're doing all right? All right. Yeah. That's uh, good. That's good. Um, so I, w I wish to apologize, but we were supposed to watch, uh, what was it, Merry, Merry Little Batman. But um, somehow in December, the movie went missing. <coughs> Detective, what happened to the movie? I ate it. You ate the movie? Yeah, I ate the movie. How? Well, very easily. It's like a, you ever hear of a, a TV dinner? Well, this is a TV movie. You simply like uh, put it in the microwave, you know, and uh, for uh, a couple of minutes and install uh, instant uh, movie dinners. You know what? I'm not even going to argue against that. Okay, sure, fine. All right, so instead, <laughs> instead, we're going to do a different movie. Last time we covered. Mr. Freeze, but in the DC Animated Universe, Mr. Freeze actually has like an arc. So we're going to do the third out of the five part arc for Mr. Freeze. This being the technically the series finale for uh, Batman the Animated Series, Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero. So technically speaking, this is the last of the Batman the Animated Series, like the 90s series. This is the last thing they made. Yeah, but there's other ones too. Yeah, well, yeah, because because it's all one big unit. Like the same studio made seven different shows. Yeah, this is Batman now, the Animated was the first one. From what I pick up on, the audience is enjoying every single one of them. Yeah. So uh, we'll decide which one we're gonna do uh, next time around. Yeah. But um, I think um, whoever created um, uh, this one right here probably made a good choice. Was uh, wasn't as I recall, Mr. Freeze, um, one of uh, a very dangerous. They're all dangerous arch criminals. Well, yeah, if you remember, right? So this Mr. Freeze didn't want to be Mr. Freeze. Uh, his wife had a disease that he was trying to cure, and then some evil businessmen cut his funding and then destroyed his lab while he was in it, thus him becoming Mr. Freeze. So he wanted revenge. That was the first episode. The second episode. Wow, good job. Uh, the last episode we watched with Mr. Freeze is he was staying in jail, serving his sentence, and someone broke him out to force him. So it was a billionaire. A billionaire broke him out because the billionaire also wanted to live forever like Mr. Freeze. So Mr. Freeze saved Batman, Robin, all the people that was stuck on this guy's island and froze the island, getting rid of the bad guys. So Mr. Freeze technically saved everyone. And now he's in a glacier alone with his wife by himself. Yeah, but he's still um, a criminal, wasn't he? Uh, well, yeah, well, no, because he was serving his sentence and someone else kidnapped him. So technically speaking, he didn't break a rule. Someone forced him. Why do I keep doing that? Uh, well, then so, um, we're going to see another side of Mr. Freeze, basically. Yeah, we're going to see a continuation from that plot where he's on the glacier by himself with his wife, Nora. And we're going to see what happens. Because remember, Mr. Freeze does not want to be Mr. Freeze. He hates being Mr. Freeze. He just wants his wife to be cured and for him to be normal. Well, maybe he's learned his lesson. The crime doesn't pay. We're doing this again. Okay, so without further ado. Without further ado, we give you Batman and Mr. Freeze. Sub-Zero. Oh, what I like about this one, the two different badges. That's that you don't steal the movie, Quince. I'm not stealing the movie. I'm observing. No, that's what the badges are for, so that you don't steal the movie. Oh, Jesus, why is this so loud? Oh, who's there, Quince? Oh, it's Bugs Bunny. You can learn a lot from Bugs Bunny. Mm-hmm. Got to learn from Mr. Bugs Bunny. -thy. That's right. All right, last time on Dragon Ball Z. Bat squawking. Bat squawking. Well, not that uh, something just went up. It says bat squawking. Bat squawking. Oh, wait, I think that's the bat logo. 
I was going to say, now here's the bat logo. Um, and it's snowing because it's winter. See? See what they did there? So remember, Mr. Freeze is just like in a glacier in the Arctic somewhere. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, well, the thing is he really can't go anywhere but glaciers because he's Mr. Freeze. You know, yeah, uh, so he's just living a peaceful life I wouldn't say his peaceful. Wife. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he, told, he did his time. Yeah, the criminals don't really, like, uh, live peaceful lives. Remember, he didn't, he, he was in jail. Someone forced him out, illegally kidnapped him. He did not want to be kidnapped. And he saved everyone from dying in an iceberg. No. So, so technically speaking, he's not doing anything wrong. He's totally fine. Well, we'll see about that. Now, are these are polar bears. Maybe that. Are you a fan of polar bears? The polar bear plunge went once in a while, otherwise known as brownies. Okay. And who's that man? Aquaman. <laughs> well, you know what? That's not a bad guess. Well, then, uh, who is he then? Well, okay, all right, all right. So the movie's called Sub Zero. We're in the Arctic. You know, just, just a little hint. He's bald. Yeah, well, he bald. Um, uh, crotch criminal I know is Egghead. <laughs> Who else is uh, bald? Oh, Commissioner Gordon. Well, no, <laughs> forget. You're getting warmer with that one. I'm sorry, colder with that one. Mr. Freeze. There we go. <laughs> I guess I just wasn't used to him without his uh, backpack. You know, his, his what they call like a... Um, his suit. His suit. Because he can't survive without it <clears throat> because the warm kills him. But in the Arctic, I guess he doesn't need the suit. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. This is very Arctic weather. Um, Mr. Freeze is not happy. Not happy more people hurt his wife. Of course ain't um, not happy. Anyone um, who gets their wife hurt now wouldn't be happy. Mm -hmm. Let alone villains. It's true. Um, what that reminds me of is a, a, a cartoon uh, where they were playing with the fire hydrant and they got caught. Uh, well, which one is that? Is that uh, uh, Fat Albert. Yeah, I was literally about to say Fat Albert. Someone claiming, you know, comes in to be a big shot, you know, and I can get more into that later. Yeah, we'll get into Fat Albert later, yeah. <laughs> considering you're an expert on Fat Albert. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win, the old man or the thief? The old man. It may look like the thief is going to win, but... Uh, well, it looks like the thief did win. Not for long, though. That's a getaway car. Getaway who could car. who could possibly stop this madman, Quincy? There's only one individual that could stop the madman. Wonder Woman. Well, if she was involved, uh, maybe later on that uh, we'll uh, get a little bit of Wonder Woman. But right now, um, it's the Cape Crusader. That's another superhero. Later, like I said, later on we can get into. Well, yeah, when we get into Justice League, which is a sequel to this cartoon. A, yeah, a lot of good, um, you know, superheroes. Exactly. Um, he just took him out of the car. Well, that's good. And look, there's Robin. Oh, yeah, I should mention it at this point that Batgirl came back. Awesome. So Batgirl kind of, you know... As you remember in the Batgirl two-parter, she kind of disappeared for a bit, and, but now she's back. Well, that's the thing about Batgirl. Every now and then, she'll make appearances. Yeah, yeah. So that's, In um, the 70s, that's what I learned about Batgirl. Yeah, so in this, after the big kerfuffle in the Batgirl two-parter, she was, like, gone for a season, but she's, uh, she was back in the episode before this, and she's back in this movie. Well, uh, that's how they make Batgirl. She'll come and go. Um, when I'll she pleases. Like, everyone's asking, well, but where's, where's Becca? And wait for what? It's like, yeah, where, where, what happened to Becca? Okay, well, <laughs> Batgirl. It's like, what happened? It's like, 
Everyone's always asking. You know, well, They're all asking. And now they have to go to a party. That's right. Now, uh, Would you party hard with Bruce Wayne? Yeah, he's safe. Now, um, I've seen some of his parties. Because <laughs> um, after, um, as I recall, at the end of these episodes, um, every now and then he'll throw um, a party. Um, Do you think they would dance to Gundam style? Do you think they would Fortnite floss? Gotham style, yeah, why not? It's bats. It's bat music, you know, uh, otherwise known as Bruce Wayne now style. Um, yeah, yeah, Bruce Wayne style. Do you think he does a Bruce Wayne style for uh, Skibbity Toilet? Does he do the Skibbity Toilet style? Maybe. <laughs> if you want to pay for something like that, you know, uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> Children's fundraising hospitals. Do you think Batman has Skibbity Toilet Riz with Commissioner Gordon? <laughs> Called the bat, uh, bat uh, seat, the bat toilet seat. You know, uh, with the <laughs> you know uh, it's because he has to keep it sanitary. <laughs> hey, look, there's Batgirl. <laughs> <Good> punch. <laughs> Yeah, the bat wipes. Keep it very sanitary. Yeah. Get the bat wipes. Bat wipes for the bat toilet. That's exactly uh, you know what uh, will happen. Exactly. You're right. You're right. It calls for it because uh, too many germs are coming around, so it calls for the bat wipes. <laughs> and look, Robin's dating Batgirl. Scandalous. How you like that, huh? Um... See, look, it's Barbara Gordon. Yeah. Barbara Gordon. And you know who Barbara Gordon is? We can't give it away. Yeah, that's Batgirl. But <laughs> if you really... <laughs> You're so mad. I just spoiled everything. It's okay. Even well, though we watched the, the Batgirl episode of this show on the series. Well... Okay, wait, maybe you have just this once. Wait, wait, wait. Fine, fine. That's my, you know, you know, you get to eat Merry Christmas, little Batman. I can spoil who Batgirl is. We both have our flaws. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's snowing in summer. Bazinga, Quincy. What does that mean? It means that Mr. Freeze is up to no good. Or, you know, because uh, remember, he has a snow machine. He has ways of, uh, You know, doing this. Of course. I can remember, uh, he's the only one that can, you know, make this happen. And of course, um, it may take a little time, but he is going to lose. He is going to lose. So how do you feel about this plot of Mr. Freeze trying to save his wife so far? It's all right. It's a criminal trying to, you know, save his wife. Do you think that's just that's more that's a little more interesting than just a guy stealing money from a bank? Yeah, yeah, well, it's a different kind of thing. But um, if a villain now uh, wants to go straight, he's got a long way to go. That means like you're forever more than you're gonna. Because once you uh, turn straight you now, um, something like that, everyone that could. Um, tries to uh, rehabilitate these criminals, like, well, you got a long way to go. Um, mm -hmm. you got to change your ways, all that kind of thing. And... Yeah. They've got a lot to learn, you know. Um, you know, if you just change from criminals to uh, yeah. going straight. But whoever, look, Mr. Freeze is going to kidnap somebody with his polar bear squad. So did you expect to see Batgirl back literally just to be kidnapped immediately? Not really. But um, you know that they're, they're going to escape and go back and uh, find the kidnappers and get, you know, go and pick them up and 
Put them back where they belong, behind bars. Uh huh. Oh, we got a motorcycle chase, Quincy. Your favorite? Yeah. Um, it's a look, good-looking bike. Um, yeah, even though it looks like a walking dumpster. They built motorcycles well back in those times. Look at this. Look at this sick motorcycle chase. That is awesome. And you don't even need him in the Robin suit. Look at this car crash, Quincy. This car pileup. Can you believe the amount of taxpayer dollars it's going to take to fix this? Yeah, yeah, well, look at how many cars are crashing. Exactly. So how is Robin going to catch up? We'll soon find out. How do you think? I don't know. <laughs> like I said, we'll soon find out. What part of answer? Answer the question, detective. He's going to, like, uh, ride his bike in there. Do Probably do a bat jump. Oh, 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 you're right. He is doing a bat jump. Oh, and he lost the tail of the bike. He'll fix it. But they're going to uh, go on with the pursuit. He's in hot pursuit. <laughs> oh, look, he's catching up. He's catching up. Ooh, I don't think he's going to be able to recover from this Quincy. He, he is slipping on the ice on the road. Oh. I don't think he's going to recover. Ah, he's not going to catch up to him. Ah, he, he's on the tree now. Too bad. Well, look, looks like they're going to lose him. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it's pretty easy for him to get out of that. He's, in a, he's a trapeze artist. Was he? I think, yeah, I think he was a trapeze artist in this. Or like an acrobat. Yep. We'll have to get another bat motorcycle. Well, that wasn't a bad motorcycle. That was like some regular guy's bike <laughs> that he just took. <laughs> that was some rando. Who are you? Well, they, they'll go out somewhere to a motorcycle shop and... Buy one? And uh, use it for uh, good things like uh, fighting crime. <laughs> so we're, we're full of tension, Quincy, of trying to save Victor's wife. Of course it's very tense right now. It is isn't often that we get to see um, a villain, you know, what, and his wife, you know, in a situation like this. And it's completely different because usually in the old 60s Batman, you know, Mr. Freeze just, you know, froze stuff and then robbed a bank. Pretty much. But this is completely different. That's the way they wrote it. Uh, very different. Completely. Uh, Do you like this different, uh, uh, re it, this rewritten, new rewritten backstory for Mr. Freeze? Yeah, I think... Um, it's fun. Because um, this is the backstory they usually keep for Mr. Freeze going forward, is that he only became Mr. Freeze to save his wife. Well, first of all, it's what they're supplying. So second, you know, we'll go with it. You know, and so I'll host it. Mm-hmm. Lay alone, I, I'm getting a real kick out of um, a certain you know, uh, series um, that we're going to be going back to. Mm-hmm. But do you think it's too different for Mr. Freeze, or do you like this new change? I like it. Because some people, they don't like it when things change, like when backstories change like this. you got to change it somewhat. you got to keep it fresh, some yeah. would say. And like I said, there's a theme that I get a kick out of um, that we're going to be going back to. Mm -hmm. I uh, forgot the name of the series, but, um, but I'll, I'll, when I hear the theme, I'll show it to you. Uh-huh. Hey, look, they're on an oil rig. Yeah, how do you like the oil rig? It's an abandoned oil rig. Huh. Again, it's different, right? Well, yeah, it's different. It's Would you expect kind of Mr. Freeze in an oil rig? It's a different kind of script. Well, um, we'll see what he does with oil. <laughs> We're going to find out soon enough. Well, it's abandoned. I actually, you know, I want to look into it because I actually want to know how do you decondition, uh,
decommission an oil rig? Because they have pipes that go down there, and I don't think they can get rid of the pipes. Well, so they have to like just leave it there. They're going to try and recycle the pipes just like anything else. No, I don't think they can even take the pipes out because it goes in so deep. Yeah, well, just like anything else, you try to recycle. But these pipes are all full of oil. If the pipes are no good, uh, forget it. Now, um, even like uh, oil pipes um, get ruined after a while. They're just plain worn out. Mm -hmm. You can't recycle them. You have to take them to a scrapyard, melt it down, and... Uh -huh. And uh, they'll rebuild it out of scrap metal. Uh -huh. It's called... Um, so do you like pipes? Of course. Okay, just double checking. Sure. All right. I like, I love pipes, hoses. and <laughs> Pipes and what? Hoses, things like that. You oh, can, okay, okay, you okay. You okay. learn a lot from that kind of thing. You like pipes and hoses? Oil hoses, gas hoses, <laughs> pipes, you know... Um, All kinds of hoses. Sure, you know... Um, is gas hoses, oil hoses. You like all the hoses? You walk into the club and you ask where the hoses at? Yeah. <laughs> so Victor, <laughs> so Mr. Reese is going to save his wife by any means necessary. That's right. Do, do you think it's interesting for a villain to just Instead of, you know, again, stealing banks, his only goal is to save someone through good or bad means. Very different kind of script. Now we'll see if he's able to save his wife or not. Even though he might kill Barbara in the process? Yeah, well, like, try to kill her, but I don't think he, um, it's going to happen. Well, no, that's how the surgery is supposed to go down. Is They're, they're going to take, like, an organ she needs to live and put it in Nora. Well, I don't know that for a fact. I haven't seen well, that. That's what they said in the plot, is that if they take the organ from Barbara, she's going to die. All right. But however, Nora will live because she needs the complete organ replacement. So Batman's tracking where this dork doctor surgeon uh, works at. It's a very good thing. I don't find anything dork about it. Uh, his hairline? His hairline's pretty bad, Quincy. See, look, Mr. Freeze has been taking care of the kid. Some way of taking care of him. Some way of taking care of him. The kid gets fed. I was gonna, yeah, that's all, but what's he feeding him? Uh, just so-and-so. Uh... No, he, he, he's giving him salmon. Do you know how much salmon costs? I have no clue. A lot. Freeze literally hunts salmon for the kid. But I hope that the kid likes salmon. <laughs> Dude, he's, he's, an, he's an Eskimo. That's the only meat they can get in Antarctica. Or the Arctic, wherever he had the iceberg in. It's fish or you murder a seal. It's all like blubber. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're living in that, that kind of... They're living in an iceberg, so Freeze gets food for the kid. I don't think Freeze needs to eat. Well, he's got to read something, otherwise he'll die. No, he's immortal. Remember, he, everything's frozen. He's immortal. But on the other hand, villains, you know, get what they deserve. <laughs> what do you mean? He's immortal and he's getting food to be nice to a kid who's an orphan. He's still a villain. <laughs> no, but he's taking care of a kid like a good parent. Yeah, some parent. You know, so, uh, <laughs> he's treating the kid real nice. What are you talking about? He has the kid uh, chained up to a bed. That's Barbara. The kid's walking around to do whatever he wants. Barbara's in a chain. The kid gets fed three square meals a day. He gets, he gets a nice shack to where he lives in. I don't know if I want to be chained to a bed. You know. Barbara's chained to the bed. The kid isn't. The little Inuit kid. Definitely don't want to be chained to a bed. Yeah. Bad girl's in the bed. <laughs> Bad girl, she's being held prisoner, not the kid. And she's going to escape one way or another. Someone's going to come and rescue her. Is that usual how it works? Yeah, but the kid is totally, completely fine. Mr. Freeze is taking care of a kid. He's not raising the kid to be evil. He's not doing anything evil with the kid. It's just he's taking care of a kid. That's good. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so 
So after they fucking freaked this guy out, they figured out where the guy is. They, they stole his phone tape recorder. Because remember when phones used to have tape recorders in them? I remember that. All right, so you want to know a fun fact about this movie? A fun fact, yeah. Yeah. All right, so there was a movie that came out. It had uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. It was called Batman and Robin. I think I've, I've heard of Batman and Robin. I don't think I've seen it yet. Yeah, yeah. So that movie came out, and that, no one liked it. Uh, if this movie was supposed to come out at the same time as promotion for that movie. Right. But because the movie did so bad, they delayed this movie coming out for like a year. And I think this movie came out with like when Warner Brother got really invested in VHS tapes. Right? I remember those, yeah. Yeah, so this, this movie was like a premier VHS tape back in the day. Because it's like one of the big Warner Brother push movies that they're like pushing on VHS. Yeah, but uh, I don't think it did too bad because first of all, wasn't Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he's still good this time. Uh, well, considering there wasn't a Batman 5, I don't think it did that well. That was Batman 4. <laughs> There's no Batman 5. Okay, real talk. This guy's kind of stupid. Why didn't he inject the syringe in her when she was still chained up? She is no longer chained up. He let go. Yeah, yeah, but if he wanted to knock her out, he should have did it when she was still in the chain, right? Let's be villains here for three seconds. <laughs> Yeah, well, this this every, guy's pretty stupid, right? I think every villain sort of like uh, gives like um, the bat punch, you know, well, and um, able to, to escape. But detective, do you deduce that that man was an idiot? Batman's not the idiot. The villain is. No, you're the yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is the villain the idiot? Yeah. He, he should have left her on the chain if he was gonna knock her out. Well, he was gonna knock her out anyway. <laughs> and we get the bad shed. That's right, yeah. It's a... You love the bat jet. Of course I Even love Even though you it. like the bat cycle more. Yeah, but you gotta love the bat jet. You gotta love the bat jet. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bat flight. Is he gonna do a donut? If he wants to, yeah, he'll do a bat donut. <laughs> See, like, look, she's still conscious. She should have been unconscious. Oh, she got the hounds after her. <laughs> but it ain't the hounds, it's polar bears. <laughs> what do you think's scarier, nine foot tall polar bears or regular dogs? Polar bears. That's, uh, you know, that's a good point. That's a good point. Do you think they'd be better if they had a nice, refreshing, cold Coca Cola in their hands? <laughs> <laughs> Would you feel better about polar bears if they gave you a Coca Cola? Just a plain one? Sure, yeah. why not? Uh, or a Pepsi. <laughs> or a Pepsi. Are you a fan of cherry coke? No, I, I tried that. Um, you know what? Um, plain like uh, flavored um, Pepsi's are good once in a while. But you but never had cherry coke, vanilla coke? I tried maybe just a tiny taste of it. I've always gone back to plain regular. All right. Just like coffees, just good old plain regular coffees. And Batman's gonna use a is, it, is that a, is that a crane? Oh yeah, that's a crane. <laughs> Bat crane. The bat crane. Bro, he doesn't own that crane. He just he got locked in it. Well, for the moment, you know what? We're going to call it the bat crane. <laughs> for, the, for the five seconds he was in it, it is the bat crane. That's the right. moment he leaves, it is a regular crane. Well, you got to learn something every time. So Barbara's going to save Mr. Freeze. We'll soon find out. Looks like they're going to save her. Now, would you rather have the bat jet or the bat crane? The bat crane. You would rather have a stupid equipment crane than the bat jet? Oh, oh, okay, the bat jet, yeah. Yeah, dude, the bat jet or the bat crane? I'd have to learn oh, how to drive oh, it. Oh, that guy died. Oh, he's mega dead. I'd have to um, learn how to drive the bat jet. But, yeah, you'd uh, also have to learn how to drive a crane, too. That's true, yeah. Because you have to get a license you know, to drive a, a, a bat jet. I don't think Batman has a license. Sure he does. No, he doesn't. He's a, he's a vigilante. Why would he get an official government license to drive a plane? Because he follows the law. No, like he, do he doesn't. 
He's a vigilante. Vigilantes don't follow the law. Sure he does. No, he does. No. Well, vigilantes, if he was following the law, he'd be a police officer, and he's not a police officer. In he's this. a deputized crime fighter. No, he, that's not a real position. He's a deputized crime fighter. That's only in the 60s, Quincy. Well, it's right now. I'm telling you right now. No, he's not. In this version, he's technically a criminal. A vigilante is someone who doesn't follow the laws. Yeah, he's doing good, but technically what he's doing right now is illegal. Look, Mr. Freeze is saving them. Did you expect that? No, but you know what? Uh, it's a good thing. Would you expect a, a villain to save Batman and B uh, Barbara Gordon? Oh. Nope. Look, he's even sacrificing himself so that the little kid and his wife can live. That's good. That's, that's a very rare thing that you see going on. And that's it. Kevin Conroy is Batman. I'll, uh, well, I'll have to give that a 10. You're going to give that one a 10, too. <laughs> They're amazing. Amazing. So, yeah, so this is the third, third installment of a five-part saga. Okay? So, now that Nora is frozen, uh, unfrozen, she is completely saved. Mr. Freeze doesn't need to do anything ever again. What do you think will happen in the next two times we see him? He's going to do good. You can only hope, because like, like I told you, once a villain starts going straight, then the villain's going to, you know, um, when they try to rehabilitate these villains, uh, they got a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. you, you, you don't want to go back to your evil ways. Uh, you got a whole lot. It's a way different world to go straight. Now, do you like the idea that Batman constantly tries to help the villains? Because as you can see, not only was he heartbroken that Mr. Freeze died, he personally paid to have Nora Freeze's surgery done. That's pretty generous, if you ask me, for Bruce Wayne to uh, do a yeah. contribution like that. Because there's a lot of because one of the things about the 90s Batman is that they made it clear that Batman's trying to rehabilitate these people. And there's a... a in season two of this show, there's a lot of episodes where villains try to go straight and they mess up. And Batman isn't really that mean to him. This is like, a, I think the episode's called um, Harlequinade, where Harley Quinn realizes that Batman's just trying to help her even though she keeps messing up and being a criminal. I told you uh, um, that they have a lot to learn. Exactly, yeah, you're right. Yeah, word for word, um, that they, they just might not make it. Because once a criminal, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to go straight. But mm -hmm. if you make the right choice, uh, you'll always um, go uh, straight. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, well, um, that's it's good versus evil. Of course. Um, <laughs> it's one or the other. There's no in-between. So, so this is the final thing. So the 90s Batman we have been watching, this was the season finale. I'm sorry, not season, series finale. This is the last thing from that show. It's a good one. But... They made a sequel show called The New Batman Adventures. The New Batman Adventures, huh? Yep. So there's so technically this is uh, there's multiple sequels to the show, and there's a timeline. So it goes Batman, this show, then it goes Superman. There's a Superman cartoon, right? Right. Then the New Adventures of Batman, then the ba the, the future Batman, Batman Beyond that we've been watching. Uh -huh. That's another sequel. And then there's also Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, right? So these are all the same, like, timeline, like the same plot, right? Kind of like how, you know, there's, like, you know, 13 seasons of the Dukes of Hazard. Like, these all follow the same plot, right? I remember right? that. Well, um, so, that, that's how good Batman is. So this is the, third, the, the series finale. This is the third part. The next time we see Mr. Freeze is going to be in the new adventures of Batman. And then the last episode he's going to be in is Batman Beyond. I'm so much looking forward to uh, the new adventures of Batman because I told you there's one particular episode. Um, no, this is a different show called The New Adventures of Batman. Well, the, well you know the one I'm talking I about. I know the one you're talking about. Same title, different show. This show we're talking about was made in 97-ish. Uh, that was like 30 years after the one you're talking about. But uh, um, then uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun... Um, Especially when they show that particular villain, because I used to um, have a lot of fun. Like I, it was the grand finale. Like um, that was right before Fat Albert. They showed the new adventures of Batman, and they showed the chameleon, and it was like uh, yeah, 
<laughs> you Do love you, the chameleon. Well, if you're going to be a Batman fan, and especially in the night, you're going to have to pick a favorite villain. You, yeah, yeah. Which your favorite is a ripoff of a Spider-Man villain that has the same exact name and does the same exact thing that looks almost exactly the same. Well, Spider-Man's good, you know. Um, Do you, you, what, hold on. Do you like Batman or Spider-Man more? Batman. Of course. But you know what? Um, in those days, like, wasn't the Spider-Man thing like uh, kind of cute on the theme? Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Yeah, didn't, wasn't that kind of cute? Was that kind of cute? How about that? We'll leave that to the audience. But okay. then comment in the chat if you think the Spider-Man theme is cute. Yeah. Well, let's have some fun, audience. Did, didn't you like in those times, like, um, you know, um, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, you know, um, you know, who didn't love Spider-Man in, in, uh, in that song, you know, um, from the Electric Company to uh, the Spider-Man? He did a lot of different things. The net, you know, uh, you know what, uh, so I think we're going to get a positive reaction from the audiences uh, on this. Okay, and do you have any last thoughts on Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero? Well, it's a good script the way they wrote it, um, the way it ended. Unfortunately, um, that uh, daughter of the um, wife didn't make it. No, she did make it. Oh, Mr. Okay, okay, she did make it. Yeah, Bruce Wayne paid for her operation and found her a donor. It, and, um, well, uh, it's a hell of a uh, generate, hell of a uh, donation from Bruce Wayne, and they found a donor. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that's, that's pretty good. You know, uh, the, the only thing I can really hope is that, that they go straight, uh -huh. uh, just like I've been telling you. Just Once like you've you, been telling me. Yeah, once you go straight, they're going to always have to, but you got a lot to learn, you know, because uh, when you change from the world of villains, uh, you got a lot to learn. It's not going to be easy. All right. Because you know, uh, I can remember word for word that, that one episode, like, change your evil ways. After you pay your uh, dues and pay your will, you'll uh, start a new life and uh, change your evil ways into doing the good things. You okay. Know, uh, that's, uh, Batman was always telling you that, you know, uh, some of these villains. Yeah, you know, well, because that's just how it is. They're gonna lose every time, you know. And then um, remember, that if you can't uh, do the time, then don't do the crime. You know, uh, all that kind of thing. And I can remember some of these like uh, episodes. I review it, you know, in the back computer. And then uh, it's like word for word. It's like, well, maybe you got a lot of talent. Gee, look at this, Batman. Look at this. Eh, too bad he had to waste it on crime. He could have used that talent to, to help the city. But like all villains. He learns up the hybrid. Crime doesn't pay. You know, uh, word for word. You know, uh, that's what he said in, the, in the, uh, one of these series I was just telling you about. And we're going to find it. When you show that episode, I'm going to tell it to you word for word because I, I know that particular episode, Inside Note. You know. <laughs> cool. It is cool. <laughs> so until next time, same bad time, same bad channel.